I'm currently in Amsterdam to play in Windmill Tournament, which is one of the craziest Ultimate Frisbee tournaments in the world. Obviously, I'm here with my club team, the New Age, and for the first time ever, we are going to play in the Mixed Division, which has 40 teams, and that's a lot, and it's just going to be insane. The way this tournament works is a Swiss draw, and I'm not going to explain everything about how it works, but you just have to know that every single point in every single game is super important, because it's going to impact the rest of the tournament, our rankings, our games and all of that, so we have to play really good and fight really hard to finish in a good place. Let's just go to the field. The first game is about to begin, we are going to play against the team that seeded 5th in this tournament. It's called Disconnections from Germany. Honestly, I think you can give them a good fight. Let's go New Age. We won our first game against this connection, 15-9. It was a really good game and we managed to win against the fifth ranked team in the tournament, which is just incredible. Since we won, we're probably going to get a tougher matchup right now because of the format. It's gonna be good. 
We are currently on our way to our second game. We're playing against an American team called Eurotrash. We have no idea who they are, how they play. Honestly, we had a really good first game, so we're just gonna continue with that and hope to win that one too. This one too. Super kid. I'm sick of showing up to my cable. I'm sick of showing up to the show. I'm going to show 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 up to the show. I'm להיכנס למשחק, לקחת את החלטות טובות, בואו ננסה לנצל את ההזדמנות שלנו בהגנה, בתקופה הזאת כמה שיותר בטוח שאנחנו מסוגלים. חבר'ה, אנרגיות טירוף, לחץ, הם יפעילו יאללה בעלים. Unfortunately, we lost our second game. We didn't play that well. We just missed some throws, and it happens. Right now, we're heading to our third game against another German team. I can't remember how they're called. And hopefully, we'll play like our first game and not like our second game, because during the first game, we had good chemistry, we had good energy. In the second one, kind of missed that. But hey, it happens. Gotta keep our heads up, and hopefully, we'll win the next one. That's good. That's a windmill. That's a windmill. איזה כיף שאני אמצא להם אותך כל הזמן. אני מאוד נהנה מהצילומים הבלתי פוסקים. חפון, מלא איתי. חפון. אנחנו רוצים את הנקודה הזאת, אנחנו עולים להם חזק הגנה, ואנחנו מביאים את הנקודה הזאת. עינב, נועה, בלי, לייבו, טוסטי, צ'צ'יק, אראל. יאללה! 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 יש עוד אנשים איתי פה? אני, 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 א
שם הפגיעה, את הטרן. זה המטרה שלה. אנחנו בחמש חמש, המשחק צמוד. We need to get our shit together. Same with like משמעות דיברנו פעם שעברה, סבבה? על האנזון, בידודים, הכל, תקשורת, טירוף. זה מה שעזר לנו לנצח את המשחק הפאקינג האחרון. יאללה בלילה. 1, 2, 3, יואו! ולפעמים אני נותן לזה להכיר לי על כל מה שאנחנו מנסים לעשות פה. היה באמת באמת בעיניי ובעיני ירון יום מה זה מעל הציפיות? לגמרי מעל הציפיות, אני מבסוט לגמרי על הקבוצה, אני מבסוט על האנרגיות, היו לנו רגעים טיפה איטיים ואחרי זה נכנסו לזה טוב. היה באמת יום כיף. אני נורא נהניתי, אני מקווה שגם אתם נהניתם. אמרתי שלא. משפט, מה שהפסדנו היום, הפסדנו בשביל לשחק יותר טוב מחר. וופ 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 בום בום סוף דרייטר וואן טו פרי נו אין לך דיוט! זה לא שאנחנו רק מבינים ביר אנחנו קוראים אפל ווין Unfortunately, we also lost our second game 11 to 8. Just like the previous one, I kind of feel like our energies weren't quite there. Our decisions were kind of iffy. And it happens. It's not the worst thing in the world. We had fun. It was a great day. We managed to beat one of the top teams in this tournament. And I'm just very happy about that. Obviously, it would have been better if we would have won our last two games. But then again, it's our first time playing mixed internationally. So that's completely fine. We're still having fun. We're currently on our way to dinner, and from there we'll probably just enjoy everything this compound has to offer, maybe something in our like living areas, Shnia? and uh, we'll see how that works. It's just insane, it's currently like 10.30 p.m. and there's still light left. I mean, look at that, the sunset is just over or about to be over. And like, what the fuck, this is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and another note, we are going to head to the fields and see what happens there and hopefully it'll be fun. Hello. Ah, tip top, what is tip top? This is the end of our first day here at Windmill. It was pretty good just being with the team, enjoying, having fun, playing the team together. Just the best experience and like I really couldn't ask for more. Maybe a bit more wins, but you know what I mean. Um, regarding the activities, 
after the games in the compound our more experienced players like saying that it's kind of lacking this year but we'll have to see tomorrow in the party and everything and we we'll let you know how that went. Tomorrow's going to be a pretty tough day. We have four games and we're starting super early. We already need to be at the field at like 8 a.m. and it's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be good. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good morning, guys. Today is our second day here at Windmill, and like I said yesterday, today we have four games, which is going to be a bit challenging, but we're just gonna do it one game at a time. Our first game is against a British team called Deep Space, they're supposed to be pretty good. But honestly, I think we can win them, it just depends on us, how we play, if we like, manage to connect with each other. But hey, we'll see what happens, we're gonna head to the fields and hopefully we'll have a good day. One, two, three, three, two, eight. We lost our first game of the day against Deep Space 14-10 and now we're heading to our second game of the day against a Danish team and hopefully we'll win this one.
game of the day against Denmark 12-12 it's a draw what can you do it was a very intense game we definitely made a big comeback in the second half and we just had the best energy we had this tournament but hey sometimes it happens and right now we're just waiting to see what team we're playing against in our next game let's go new age 
You want to get it? Wow, I did. We just got our matchup for our next game, our third game of the day. We're going to play against the Czech national team and hopefully we'll win them. This is not a game. Let's take the energy from the first game and bring them here. We're here in 100%. Let's take it. So we lost our third game, uh, which kind of sucks because in my opinion we were better than them. Uh, there was a point in the game where it was very tight and then we just kind of let it slip and it's fine. But I just feel like our energies aren't that good and we're just letting it take us down. It's just saying, fuck it, it already happened. Let's just have fun. We're in a fucking tournament. We're going to have fun and see what happens. We're just letting our, like, not disappointment, but just like, I don't know, yeah, I guess it's probably the right word. So our disappointment take us down instead of just leveraging the situation, saying, well, we have nothing to lose. Let's do our best. It's our first mixed tournament internationally or ever as a team. So hopefully we'll just continue for the next two games and it's just going to be good. That's pretty much it. We have another game right now. We're playing against a team. I have no idea who we're playing against, but it's in field 18. And hopefully we'll win that one and finish the day with another W. Because we only won one game. Story. Let's go, let's go W's. Let's get those W's or L's. Oh, fine, but two L's is a W. Think about that. God damn. God damn it. Let's go New Age.
We also lost our final game for the day, 15-10, I think. It was pretty tight most of the time, but then at the end we just lost it, which sucks, but hey, sometimes it happens, and we're just gonna continue and see what happens tomorrow. Right now we're getting some dinner, and then we're gonna go to the party, which from what I've heard is just going to be crazy. And we'll see how everything goes. איזה באסה! it is currently 11 40 pm and we are heading out to the party from what our more experienced players are saying the party in windmill is like the best thing the highlight of the tournament so hopefully it's gonna be pretty good up until now we we're just having fun enjoying being together eating doing all that stuff and hopefully it's going to be a good party let's go That was way better than I expected and I guess having a party with headphones instead of just like a normal loud party makes sense because here is the main thing, I don't know if you can see anything and over there it's completely dark, so I don't know if you're gonna see that but there are people sleeping in tents over there and it is a tournament so I guess even though I bitched about it earlier it was just awesome and doing it with headphones just makes sense Either way, we're probably going to start heading back to our rooms because we still have one final game tomorrow, just to finish the tournament. And honestly, we get, need to get some sleep. It's currently like 2.30 a.m. So we're gonna do the responsible thing and head back. But wow, it was really good. Definitely lived up to the hype. Anyway, I think I'll just talk to you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye. Today is our last day here in Windmill and in about an hour we're going to play our final game of the tournament against the South Korean team and hopefully we'll be able to push through and win, finish the tournament with a W. 
Uh, but we'll have to see about that. Honestly, I think all of us would like to win a bit more, but we understand that this is our first time playing mixed internationally. And it's going to take some time before we'll be able to be really good at it. So we just have to see what happens. Honestly, the tournament itself was just so fucking good, so much fun just being in the fields with the team, meeting new people, having fun together. The party yesterday was insane. But hey, right now we gotta focus on the games. Hopefully, next time we'll talk, I'll be able to tell you that we won. Today is the first day since we got to the Netherlands that isn't sunny and is actually cloudy and the temperatures are very nice, so that's kind of awesome. כמו ביום הראשון, כמה אנחנו מסוגלים להפציץ וזה, ודווקא כמה אנחנו מסוגלים להיות מסודרים, להיות רגועים. מהות המשחק היום היא בעינינו, היא יותר של ההתקפה. סבבה? על לא להפיל גול עם הצלחת. גם הם עייפים, גם איבדנו את טוסטי עוד יותר אחרי פציעות, השורה התחתונה, אנחנו חייבים לעשות כמה שיותר נקודות על הסקורבורד הזה. עם שמונה נקודות, ועם שבע נקודות, כנראה לא ננצח את המשחק הזה. סבבה? זה מה שראינו משאר הקבוצות פה. אנחנו חייבים להגיע ל-10, 12, 14, והשאיפה שלנו נסיים את זה מן הסתם ב-15. אנחנו מתחילים בהתקפה, בואו נשמור על הפוזיישן הזה כמה שאנחנו יכולים. יאללה בלאגן, בואו נהנה. יכולים להגיע לשם, בטח אם הם בונים בארץ, אנחנו חייבים לעזור את זה. 
אני חושב שהטורניר אש, לי היה אישית מאוד כיף, היה לי מאוד כיף עם הקבוצה, הרגשתי איתה מאוד בנוח, מאוד נהניתי, תודה רבה לכולם, זה ממני, יאו שלך. כאילו ממה שלבו אמר, חד משמעי. אני חושב שזה היה הדבר הראשון, בראש ובראשונה משהו היסטורי, שבחרנו לקחת אנשים, לא משנה כמה הצלחנו לעבוד על זה, לבנו מוכנים יותר, מוכנים פחות. רוב האנשים כאילו, למעט אולי שתי שחקניות פה, זה טורניר בוגרי, בוגרות, בוגרים בוגרות ראשון שלהם, כאילו. אני חושב שמבחינת מה שראינו, כל המשחקים והתוצאות שסיימנו, היינו כל כך קרובים גם באותה מידה לנצח אותם. באנו לטורניר הזה בזרימה בשכונתיות. לגיטימי, זה מה שאמרנו. שנה הבאה, אין תירוצים. כולם יודעים מה הטורניר, כולם יודעים מה הדבר הזה ידרוש מאיתנו מבחינת כמות משחקים, עייפות, פציעות, כושר משחק, מסוגלות משחק. סבבה, אין תירוצים. בכל מצב נהניתי, תודה רבה שנתתם לי ולכם להיות חלק מהחוויה הזאת. ואוהב אתכם להיות זה לנצח להיות זה תמיד, אלא מן קבוצת יש לנו שלושה! שלושה! אחד, שתיים, שתיים! יש לנו שלושה! אנחנו נגד 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 If you're coming to Amsterdam and you want to experience a place that's a bit more in nature and all that stuff, definitely check out the Unbound. We're staying at the Freelage Village, but literally the entire compound here looks incredible. Bye! This place was so good. I'll definitely be back here someday. People literally slept here, like right on the field. for the city, this place was really good. <laughs> we were just walking around exploring the city and then someone recognized me since he follows me on Instagram. So, Liam, thank you, you're a legend. Kind of crazy to be back here already because I don't know, I just feel like I just got here. But in reality, almost a week have passed and it just went by so fast and it was incredible. And honestly, I'm really ready to leave, but I guess I have no choice. Well, till the next time. <laughs> There's a foot. Oh, finally, gate B27, Austrian flight to Vienna. Oh wow, I think we've walked like three or four kilometers from the moment we entered the airport. Like it was hellish. Now since we went into the gate, we're just gonna relax here till the flight. We have about Four hours till boarding starts. I think just going to do nothing. If something interesting will happen, I'll let you know. But honestly, I don't have any batteries left for my camera or for my phone, so I'll probably keep it quiet. See you later, guys. Just gotta relax. גיבור אותנו מסכימה כי אני... שלום! שלום! I just like to mention the fact that I think that for the first time ever in my life I went to a tournament and I didn't have imposter syndrome. It just felt like I'm right where I should be, at the right place, with the right people, 
not like I'm living someone else's life. It just feels normal to go to a tournament, fly, play some games, and then come back to Israel. And that's definitely first for me, but I'm happy about it because it means I'm getting more experience as an ultimate player and hopefully getting closer to reaching my goal of actually living a life as a full-time content creator slash ultimate frisbee player. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of awesome. First time not feeling like an imposter in, in an ultimate tournament, even though I didn't have the best tournament. I'm just babbling. See you guys later. I think I said pretty much all I had to say in the actual video, but I don't know. I feel like editing this video, rewatching it, it's kind of different than the open tournaments I usually go to. And it's not like it's a bad different or a good different. It's just different. And that's kind of refreshing. Like I have plenty of footage you guys haven't even seen because it just didn't really fit into the story. But like there's an entire day with incredible footage that I would love you guys to see. So maybe I'll just turn that into an Instagram reel or something. See what I decide. Uh, but overall, like, it was just so much fun to be in Windmill. And if there's one thing like I take away from this tournament and to summarize it all in one sentence is that we just need to take our flaws and work together to turn them into something that's flawless. And I know it's kind of idealistic, but I truly believe that because I feel like you could have utilized more of our players in this tournament. I feel like you could have worked better. We could have had a better system in place. And that's some things we need to work on in the future. But that's completely fine. It was our first mixed tournament ever. And overall, it was just great. And I don't know what's going to happen next year, but I'm sure it's going to be good. I know it took me a lot of time to edit this video, but I have plenty of other things going on in the background. I also flew to two more tournaments right after Windmill. EUC with the open team and then EYUC with the youth team and both of them were super fun and I have videos already planned. I like I filmed a lot, I just need to get to editing them. I also have a video about the Cliffs of Moyo coming soon. That's a bit more of like a travel video. But yeah, get excited. A lot of things is coming your way sometime soon. Can't really give you a date, but it's gonna be good. I'm also going to New York City in October and that's just going to be a completely different story, but that's for another video. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. So this is the end of, of so this is the end so this is the end so and what can Barisha So this is the end of our first day here at Windmill. Fucking maniac! Motherfucker! <laughs> 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 wow! No, 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 wow! You can pee wherever you want, Terel. It's not like that. It's your tahini. Ten, ten, ten. Bochim abayim. Line, 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 line. Ten, ten, ten. Ayom nitzachnu mizchak rishon. Kamesre. עשר, אנחנו די כבר, די כבר, די כבר. תביאו לי מים, אני אקיא עוד קצת, אבל די שלי, מה זה שאני כבר? כבר הקטי הכל, לא הקטי כלום יותר. אין מה רחוק מכל ה... זה מאוד. עצרו אותי פה, אה, יש פה את האוסטרי. בארץ בחיים לא עצרו אותי, בארץ בחיים לא עצרו אותי, פה עצרו אותי כבר שלוש פעמים. What the fuck, we have a rabbit inside our... Holy fuck. What is it doing here? אוי, שזה חמוד. What the fuck, אחי. כן. הוא מת לצאת, הוא לא מבין למה הוא מצליח לצאת. אני קודם ראיתי כאן גם. יואו, 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 יואו.
זה לא נורמלי. הוא יצא. ביי ביי חמוד. ביי ביי. יואו, זה חמוד. יעשה כמו סאן. Good morning and welcome back to Band of Videos. אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה